Hi, welcome to this episode of Hillman Halt. I've had a few requests to run through the different components of the control system I use, which is the Lockstor Digital Lodi range of kit. So what I'll do, I'll take you through each piece by piece and explain how it works. I pulled my control board from out underneath the layout so we can have a better look at each of the individual components. First things first, power. I have a strip that I split off into different directions. So from there, the first piece is the large power block that goes to provide power to the track through the booster. The other large power item here is a 16 volt transformer which is used to power the points and accessories so those are the, the main bits of power turning over you can see all the wiring neatly installed well <laughs> i think it's neat for me and then to connect it to the outside world i have some terminal blocks so that's for the network cable and to have the block detection and the turnout connection through CAT5. Again, it's all networked. And then I have some terminal block for track power and for turnout power, accessory power. And then one more up here, which I didn't really touch on. It's just a standard voltage plug, low voltage plug for my lighting. So everything comes off the one board and then runs around the system through a power loop and a cat5 loop for both the accessories and the track detection did you know that 91 percent of my videos are watched by people that aren't subscribers so my ask please one like the video two if you haven't already please subscribe it helps the algorithms and helps other people see the content as well. Thanks very much. The first piece to look at is the Lodi Rector. This is the kit that ultimately drives the trains. That is connected through Cat5 to the booster. And the booster takes its power from that first block that I mentioned here. And you'll see that there are, there's a track A and a track B option. Um, I'm only using track A, but I've wired it for track B as well. So it can handle two separate track systems, which is all down to the output voltage, ampage stuff beyond my pay grade. To drive block detection, we have the S88 Commander LX. You can see that's got inputs versus the other items that tend to have more outputs because it's taking an input from the block detection units that I have around the track. So that takes the input and therefore understands where each locomotive is at any time. To drive the turnouts and accessories, we have the shift commander that has a couple of buses. Bus two is for the slow output, which works for my turnout motors. As you can see, that's also connected to the network and power as per the other units. An important part of the Lodi system is that it's run over ethernet. So I've got um, a mini hub here. There's a connection in from my router and then CAT5 cables going to the other units. S88 network in, shift commander network in and the rector network in. The only one that doesn't have a connection is the booster because that has a direct connection in from the output of the rector. To 
power the components on my board. It's all USB-C, so I've got a small powered hub here pumping out the correct power voltage to each of these units, as you can see. The only difference is that the shift commander has a separate dedicated power supply, which is here, this one. Um, so using, using an old Amazon plug. That's to prevent any cross-contamination of the power between the shift commander and the rector, so don't get any bad readings. For track detection, we use this unit, the 8GBM, which is Cat5 connected in a daisy chain. And then you have a series of inputs that you plug your wires in from your track. The right hand side is taking power on that uh, loop of power I've got for track. And then you have eight blocks, positive and negative. Um, and and that, that's it for track power, just a bunch of those, daisy chain them together. To control the turnouts, we use the operator 4WDAC, again, network connected, daisy chained, power on the right here, and it controls four turnouts, three cables for each, standard wiring, a common voltage, and then a switch voltage on the left or the right, as and when you throw the turnout. Bunch of those, each one controls four turnouts. Now, this is the nice bit. This is the controller. It's not going to connect to anything because my system's unplugged at the moment, but it's a nice, sturdy, rechargeable battery, color screen. You can go in, see your locos, see all the turnouts. Again, it won't read any because I'm not connected. You can actually drive loco. Again, it won't do anything. It's a really nice screen, very easy to go between trains. So if you've got two running on two tracks, just a simple switch. Very nice, very simple, nice bit of kit. It also does rotate this way. Oh, no, I've got screen lock on. You can rotate it this way if you wish. I just like it this way. But it's, um, it's a nice, nice bit of equipment, good screen, nice responsive touch screen. And I'm re really pleased with that because I think controls for model railways are a little bit lacking. This is the first one that's really moved on to an extent to, a, to the new world. And of course it is running over Wi-Fi. And that's how it connects. So you can see the right hand side, we've got a Wi-Fi connection uh, onto my network. Well, I hope you found that interesting and it ticked the boxes of what you wanted to know. What I will do is publish a second video just looking at the Lodi Programmer FX, which is the computer client that allows you to control the system as well. I'll keep that in a separate video, otherwise it makes this one too long. So watch out for that in the next couple of days. Okay, until next time, thank you. Please remember to like, please comment, also subscribe, and see you on the next video. Thanks, bye-bye.